Well, after the conclusion of the 2019 IPL auctions, we've seen the involvement uh, of just two Australian players and three English players being sold. Of course, that's no indication of their diminishing importance uh, in the IPL, uh, but more rather a case of them not being available for the for the entire tour. Yes, this one is a unique scenario. Not doesn't it'll happen every four years or so, Isuyash, because the World Cup means that the home boards will actually want to protect their prized assets. And several of these players, like we saw Alex Hales, in a normal situation, Alex Hales would be part of a bidding war, you would imagine. But he did not attract a bid because he's most likely not going to be available for most of the tournament. However, we saw a huge bid for Sam Curran, a lot of interest. Why? Because Sam Curran is not part of England's white ball plans, his brother Tom Curran is. So in an odd sort of way, Sam Curran benefits from not being, at least financially benefits, from not being part of the English setup in limited overs cricket. He's not in the one day team that's going to be playing in the West Indies. And as a result, he got this huge bid because there's potential. The guy, he's been seen playing against India in the recent test series, is able to hit the long ball, is a bowler, good fielder, young guy. So obviously, he gets uh, a huge bid and benefits uh, from that. I think uh, with the Australians, the case is similar. A lot of them pulled out of the auction, guys like. Finch and Maxwell and the ones that were available weren't uh, really hot picks anyway. Moises Henriquez of course there but if I can ask you another thing about uh, Sam Curran he was of course uh, so instrumental to the English team uh, in the test series against India but do you think it's a bit of a gamble picking him in the T20 format especially on Indian pitches where you know he won't get the same amount of purchase like he does in England. So in a lot of these situations it is about investment in a player who seemed to have the potential to deliver for you. We've seen that multiple times in the past that uh, IPL coaches and scouts believe right if we introduce this player into the mix he will deliver uh, what is expected of him in this case in Sam Curran's case there is clear ability no question about that there is also multiple skill sets batsman bowler and also a swift fielder young player also someone who's uh, on uh, kind of been the uh, uh, had success against uh, India so I think all of those factors uh, considered went uh, in his favor also remember Suyash these bids are not necessarily just determined by what is perceived to be the value of the player but how many of these franchises are interested in his services quite clearly more than one was in the case of Sam Curran that's why the price uh, went to the point that it did. I think he crossed 7 crores.